the Arabian desert, a vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil, the lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. In the desert, you rely on good planning, but you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. Try havoc and let slip the dog of the world. When your enemy has better weapons and better equipment than you, steal from your enemy. did not think we would be fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, Lawrence? Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? How enchanting you are, my dear. <laughs> Achmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies. Your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Soon all that you know 
and all that you love will be ashes. You will all be free to die. Oh, oh you animal! Zara! Oh. Now I understand that you would like nothing more than to strip the flesh from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. You're right. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. <laughs> Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one, you mean? You can never stop the progress of machines. One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands. We shall see, my friend. Of course, obtaining the code book was not enough. To destroy this Iron Dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans had named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages telling it to stand down. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high-priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen and then sent with our false orders. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. The Bedouin treasured their horses. And in return, those animals granted their riders unparalleled speed and mobility. Run up already. 
A single order would be enough. Ottoman protocol required the message to be received in triple before the train would acknowledge it as genuine.
Merci, Ezzy. Ah. Ah. We were putting a great deal of trust in Zara's capabilities. Here. But I had complete confidence that she would carry the day.
you see, the message had already been sent, my dear. <clears throat> not, not the message you would have wanted. El Orans was such a good host. It almost seemed rude to escape. I made sure to note the location of Lawrence's camp, of course. Which means... the train knows too. Twice. You told that train everything was clear. But... I told it exactly where to attack. The beast has your scent, my dear. And it's coming to slaughter you and your little band of rebels. First, the firestorm from the cannon. Then, up close with the troops to slaughter any survivors. The legend of Lawrence of Arabia dies tonight. away just in time. Tilkiji was a fool to think we'd ever stay after he escaped. The carnival won't stop hunting us. No, it won't. Let me think. The train's coming a long way. So it'll have to stop to take on water. That's where we strike. Agreed. I'll deal with any sentries then. Rig explosives on the track. Yes, and I'll rally our fighters. When I blow the lines, the, the train will be trapped. So when you hear the blast, you need to attack them with everything you have. It's good. But you know that there's a chance the men may not come. You may set off those explosives and find you're out there all alone. You know that. I guess I won't know either way until I set it off. Yes, no. Man makes plans and God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops would have to be dealt with before the explosives could be set.
Şu gavurun dönüle saldır! İlerleyin! Uyuma! Başımız vur! Yanından sokun! Buradan çıkış yok! Yanından sokun! Uyuma! Kalk benim evladı! Bizden... İlerliyorum! Burada mı? Can cephesini sar! Once Zara secured the town, the trap could be set for the riding train.
Vengeance can be a sweet or bitter brew. How did you find it, Zara? And you're right, we do need to think bigger, act bigger. Maybe even the Suez Canal. Tell me, what do you know about battleships?